Hey, what's going on YouTube? This Southern Nights. Back at you with another video. Before you watch this video all the way through, I would like for you to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. All my links in the description box. Feel free to donate. I know my cam look kind of crooked, but I'm driving, so. But yeah, this video is basically about it's another ammo video because I told y'all that I'm going to start back dealing with the two-way stuff and I think I'm going to go all the way in with the two-way community stuff because this year I'm thinking about leaning more off the politics and dealing with more of, I'm still going to be dealing with it. I might still report stuff from time to time but as for like the political gospel politics I probably lean off of that a little bit because I notice it's a lot of shadow banning going on with certain topics that you really can't talk about even though you can talk about them but at the same time I was looking into something and I noticed that a lot of that is really going on right now on various platforms I'm not saying that's the case with my channel as of yet, but you know, but I have been, subscribers have been being deleted, but I don't know it's because of the box. I don't know it's because, I, I don't know, but, but at the same time, I've been wanting to lean back towards the ammo anyway because of the climate that we in. So it's still based off political issues, but not that you see in today's media. But with that said, it's two main um, calibers of ammo that you may need to be focused on if you don't be focused on anything else as for home defense. And that is nine millimeter ammo and shotgun shell ammo. That should be your two main priority to look out to stockpile. And I ain't even saying, I ain't even gonna say stockpile cause I don't want people to get in your business like that. But that should be the ammo that y'all should be focused on right now. And you, some people might say, well, rifle ammo might be a best. Yeah, that should be a priority too. But I'm just saying as for right now, due to the fact that that's gonna be the first ammo, the first uh, set of ammo that's gonna be gone off the shelves. Cause remember at one point you couldn't find it, right? So due to the fact you couldn't find that particular caliber or ammo, that's the one you should be focused on because I'm seeing a lot of people forgetting about 2019 and they leaving majority of the shotgun shell is like an abundance right now. It's an abundance and nobody ain't really touching it like they was. But during the beginning of the pandemic, it seemed like everybody was looking for it. Every, every time I go into a store, they, everybody ask, hey, who got the um, caliber? Who got 12 gauge, 12 gauge, 12 gauge? But now you don't, I don't see nobody looking for it no more. I don't really see nobody looking. So with that said, due to the fact that nobody ain't looking for that caliber anymore or that or shotgun shells, this is the time that you probably need to buy, um, buy the 100 pack, 200 pack, wherever. Go. If you want to get the bulk ammo, Academy probably be your best bet because they're doing a lot of bulk right now. Nine millimeter. And it's getting to the point where it nine millimeter is on the shelves also. So the ammo shortage is no longer an ammo shortage. It's really a delay. I would say it's an ammo delay at this particular point, but it ain't no shortage. For right now, that could change at any moment. But what I'm telling y'all is, 
9 millimeter and shotgun shells is prob will probably be your best main focus at this particular time right here. And the reason why I say that is the political climate that's really going on, cause those are your two home defense calibers that you are gonna probably need when the crap hit the fan like it is right now. So I'm seeing a lot of this on the shelf right now. And the funny part about this, like I said, this is the main stuff that people were asking for. But it seemed like everything else leaving the shelf but that. I don't get it. Everything else is gone but that. The nine millimeter and the shotgun shells is on the shelf. Maybe they got enough of it. I don't know, but every place that I went to, everybody was looking for nine millimeter and the shotgun shells back in 2009 when all of this stuff took place. But now it's on the shelf like never before. And nobody grabbing it. Now I, I can't say uh, somewhat nine millimeter. Yeah, that's still somewhat is going off the shelf. But I think they got enough now to where it can spread it out. They still have the limitations at Academy, but the limitations ain't really ain't bad. Like you can get up the four boxes, but if they selling the, the the thing is if they sell in bulk like a hundred to two hundred rounds. Four boxes ain't bad. You, you see what I'm saying? So, yeah. <clears throat> That's like, what, 800 rounds? So that ain't bad for like one trip. And if you were doing like the, like the fella was doing, <laughs> they, they, which was a conflict of interest, they'll, they'll send somebody else that they know and get the other folks. So, if, if you're gonna do it like that, but yeah, that's that's the two main things that I will focus on. Me personally is um, shotgun or, or even 20 gauge or any, like anything dealing with a shotgun, whether it's 12 gauge or 20 gauge. That's that's what I focus on right now, particularly nine millimeter because when it comes down to self defense rounds. You need to make sure that you have enough to sustain yourself because even though it's an abundance right now, that's going to probably be the first thing that go because it's going to be so much of it, it's already out there. But the first thing that's going to go, and y'all know, is the 9mm. The shotgun shells might be, it was the last result. It was the last thing that left. And then, when that left, you had what the price gouging. So the ones that did had it, you were paying like a good twenty to twenty nine dollars for a box. And now I know a lot of people probably think that that I regret buying that for that amount of price when all of this stuff is on the shelf now. But it's still it, 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 it's. Price is still elevated though, that's the thing. So I wouldn't really regret it. It best to be safe and sorry. But since the price is done went down a little bit, I would say just hey grab what you can. Because you you one thing about shotgun shells, one thing about 12 gauges, if whoever come majority of people have 12 gauge shotguns. You can never have enough of them because you can either use 12 gauge for anything, hunting, self-defense, birds, if you like, whatever bird you like to eat or whatever the case may be. Wild, wild, got a lot of wild turkey. I don't, even though I think it's still illegal to hunt those down here in North Carolina, but sooner or later, I think that's gonna be lifted because them wild turkeys is overpopulated and you can get, it's to the point now, I just passed some not so long ago. They they all up in your yard now, that's how much it is now. How much wild turkeys is out here. So, yeah, but 
other than that, that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about today because I was reflecting, the reason why I'm doing this video because I was reflecting off what I saw yesterday when I was doing my ammo hunting just to see what was out there. I won't really hunt for ammo, I just wanted to feel the scene out because it's been a while because I've been busy. So I pretty much wanted to check the scene out to see what was going on. But yeah. So it's really getting crazy out there. Yeah. Should I window but nah I can go straight. It's really getting crazy out there though. So I know y'all see what's going on. A lot of stuff is happening. And all it takes that that major situation for it to come about. And there you have it. A lot of stuff is getting removed from the shelf. Lim limitations coming back on the ammo. Can't find calibers. Still can't find a few of them right now. So, and remember what I tell you, a lot of stuff is really closing now. So after a while, if the school's closing, this is why I'm telling y'all, y'all need to go ahead, whatever y'all need to do right now, get whether anything that dealing with concealed carry and all of that stuff like that, might need to go ahead and do it now, get your situation up, because it looked like it's gonna be another lockdown. It looked like it's heading that direction. So schools closing, Apple closing, stores closing, the bars, all the um, retail stores, everybody struggling right now because they can't find nobody. On top of that, this um, pandemic is hitting them. So they get to hit them both ways. <laughs> so, so that's all I'm saying. A lot of road rage out there and it's a lot of that. And I told y'all in, in them cities, it's gonna be a lot of road rage because people frustrated. So, and then you in a compressed, dense population. So it's easier to get a, an altercation in the cities than it is out here in the country. Because if y'all really look at where I'm at, you don't really see nothing out here. It ain't that but it ain't that but straight field out here. My average person that come out here, they would be completely lost. <laughs> so this is what I'm saying. It, it, it's impossible to get into an altercation out here unless it, it's, it's going to be any altercation you get out here is with a wild animal. <laughs> That's the only altercation you might get out with. Now, if you go into the grocery stores and go something, anything could probably happen. You might bump somebody, and even then, they'll probably say, "Oh, my bad," you know, "My bad." Sorry, man, and keep it moving. But yeah. But that's pretty much it. I ain't gonna make this video long, but I just wanted to tell y'all, if y'all still going ammo hunting, your main focus need to be nine millimeter and shotgun shells. With that said, if you like the content, subscribe to the channel. I'm almost to 500. So help me get the five more hundred subscribers so I can spread this message more further because channels like this, for some reason, get pushed in the algorithm, further back in the algorithm. So maybe these ain't popular topics like the reality shows or whoever the case may be, Kim Kardashians or whatever the case may be, but maybe the frequency will have to line up with the climate and maybe then these channels like this will get more outreach because we're in the climate right now to where whatever people talk about if it's a hot topic that's what everybody's talking about but with that said i'll catch y'all on the next video peace